if a man has a choice, uh, meaning uh, if he doesn't have kids, uh, if he's not married, uh, the divorce of uh, from which will cost him significant amount of heartache financially and also separation from kids, etc. If a man truly has a choice, especially if he's living in the West under the Western divorce laws, he will not marry with a woman. He will not live with a woman. Uh, I, I must be honest with you. I, uh, for the past, as long as I can remember, for the past 25, 30 years, I have personally had uh, about three women, more or less, on rotation that I would see. Of course, I would not tell uh, that uh, to them. But I also would not give them any false promises. I don't believe in, in doing that to any human being. I would not say, we're going to get married in six months. You know, I would not say that. I would just remain vague. Actually, many of them complain that you're so vague. You don't want to say, you know, what your plans are, where is this going, whatever. And if they decided to break from me, which I always thought, hey, it was fair, they're breaking from me, but I'm the one who really instigated it by, by not telling them where this is going. But I always treated them and I always treat them with respect, with dignity. Uh, I'm always very polite to them. But you know, I just um, don't see a reason to limit my uh, life to one woman and take on all the pains and responsibility and the hard work and the sacrifice. The operating key word here is sacrifices that come with living with a woman. I know there are good parts, someone at home waiting for you and all that, but you pay a dear, dear price for those, uh, you know, once in a blue moon good parts. They will limit you, they will make you do things that you don't want because that's what they want. If you do the things that you want, they will make you pay for it in ways that you regret you ever did what you wanted to do. They will nag you. They will try to control your life. They will try to change you. They will try to form you into something that they had envisioned from the time they met you. Have you heard that old, old saying? Uh, a man uh, marries a woman hoping she'll stay the same and a woman marries a man hoping he'll change. It was very, very true. These old sayings are gold. You should never forget them. You should never let them out of your sight. You should never forget about them when you're making uh, life-changing decisions. They, are, they have lasted throughout the centuries for a reason, because they are true. Ignoring the advice of the wise and old, ignoring the sayings that have lasted throughout the generations is, uh, you're do, is doing yourself a disfavor. Consider this a, a, a general uh, sharing of ideas that will really uh, help some and will really prevent some from making a decision that they'll regret later. I know there are negative uh, to it like anything else in life. I had an old boss that would tell me life is like a coin. There's always a positive side and a negative side. I know there are negative sides to this, to this uh, meaning not committing to one woman, but the positives in my view are far, far, far uh, longer. After all, Regardless of uh, what uh, your religious beliefs are, the idea of uh, marriage and legal contract of marriage was man-made. It's not natural. It's not like uh, trees and the oceans and the mountains and uh, nature. It's something that was man-made, man-created to actually marry under a legal contract and the ramifications of, of ending that uh, marriage at will. So uh, I don't need to tell you how well artificial things uh, work in life. They just don't. I find the freedom that comes with not committing to one woman and being with them, you know, when, uh, when it's under mutual agreement, when also they want to be with you, and then separating when... Um, you want to be free and she wants to be free or you want to be free and she doesn't doesn't matter you don't do things to please others in life that is the best medium and the closest thing in my view to a serene happy fulfilled life that you can have when it comes to 
interactions with the members of the opposite sex. This is what I'm talking about. I find that there is no, of course, perfect, flawless, uh, you know, uh, thornless rose. But in terms of interacting with women, I believe this way is the closest thing to perfection that you can find. Now, many will disagree with me. God bless them. Many will agree with me. But this works for me. Having women uh, several on rotation, because they will have men on rotation. Uh, the moment they send someone, it's better. That they won't think twice about leaving you. Don't kid yourself. There is no loyalty. There is no love in romantic relationships. There is only what's on the table and how long uh, you know th does it serve me. As the moment it stops serving them, you are useless to them, like yesterday's newspaper. So as far as a man is concerned, talking to, uh, to men, I believe this is the best medium out there. Not being in a committed relationship, not living with a woman, but most certainly having relations with them, because that's natural. I know many will disagree with me, but monk mode, if that means that completely writing off uh, the, the female sex and just completely uh, not, ha not engaging in a physical you know, uh, involvement with a woman, well, I don't agree with that. that I don't think that's natural. I don't think that's, uh, that's okay. I don't think that's normal. Our body needs, uh, needs that, you know, just like a baby needs the, the touch, uh, you know, they did uh, surveys in, uh, in uh, um, orphanages and the babies that were held and, and, you know, caressed and held next to the chest did a lot better growing up. They had much stronger immune systems and they grew up much more normal than babies that just were left you know, uh, without uh, any, any care or any touch, any human touch or any human attention. They did a lot worse. I mean, is this surprising to you? And as a man, as a heterosexual man, you need, you need interaction, physical interaction with women. You need to have a sexual release unless you want to get prostate cancer. You know, you, you might even have it with, uh, with uh, uh, you know, sexual release, but chances are a lot lower and you are in much healthier, uh, safer, a healthier and better position in life when you have uh, regular interaction with women. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's for the benefit of you and I'll talk to you uh, soon. God be with you.